Despite yields going up in a large portion of the market, which is supposed to be the end of fixed income, you had strongly positive returns in most area of the fixed income markets. A little more moderate on some of the government securities, but credit securities in general did very, very well. Interestingly, most markets outside of traditional US high yield, outside of the United States, did better than inside the US. Again, something we like to emphasize, why you wanna be multi-sector and global in building income portfolios. Sitting here early in 2018, when I reflect back and think about if I would have known all of the events of the past couple of years, starting with the Brexit vote to the US election to some of the turmoil in emerging markets, I would have never guessed that credit markets would have been as resilient as they have been. But I think what it teaches us, once again, is the power of time. It is very expensive to not be invested in the markets. And through all the volatility, the instruments we invest in are mathematical. Either we get our money back, or we don't get our money back. We call it a default. If we continue to minimize the defaults, then holders of our funds are just going to benefit over time. So what's the playbook for 2018? Very similar to 2017. Be diversified. Don't try and hit home runs. Wait for whatever dislocation might be there. Will we get the same result as 2017? Maybe not, but it's the right approach until we actually start to see volatility in markets.